afternoon to our media partners and all of those that are attending this press event. My name is Steve Dillard and I am the East Tennessee Law Enforcement Liaison for the Governor's Highway Safety Office. I want to take just a moment to thank uh, the Tennessee Highway Patrol, our sheriffs and deputies, our chiefs and officers that are here with us today. And I also want to thank uh, my supervisor, uh, Richard Holt, who is the uh, Law Enforcement Liaison's Administrator and our Director for the GHSO, uh, Kendall Poole. Today, the Governor's Highway Safety Office <clears throat> and our local law enforcement partners in the District 1 region in and around the Knoxville area have come together to announce our plans and strategies for several planned holiday events and enforcement events that we are preparing to do. As I speak today, 882 lives have been lost in the state of Tennessee for the year 2013. Just in the Knoxville district alone, we have reported 141 deaths that matches 2012's numbers this same time period. Sadly, that is 141 families that were given the notice that their loved one had been killed in a traffic fatality. It saddens me as I know it saddens our officers when this notification has to be made to a family member or a close friend. We find ourselves, the police officer, the deputy, the state trooper, that has to break this terrible news to the families that has been affected. By saying all of this, next week is Thanksgiving. It's a time we will give thanks for the blessings we have received, and it will be a time that families will travel to and from different places to visit their loved ones. We want our roadways to be safe for everyone traveling in and around the Knoxville area. By saying this, we know that many people still refuse to wear their seat belts when traveling. Some people will choose to travel impaired on our roadways, thinking that they're okay, and others will be late for that party or meeting and they will decide that speeding will be the answer to their arrival. Some of our drivers will continue to text, read the internet, answer their telephone, or just be involved in a phone conversation, therefore taking their eyes and attention off the roadway itself, causing a very dangerous behavior behind the wheel of the car. Our local partners in law enforcement, knowing this behavior will probably be occurring, is prepared to do their part in stopping this dangerous behavior before the driver ends up hurting or killing an innocent person. Too often this year, I've heard of wrong way crashes on the interstate, especially I-40 and I-640. We've heard of about different speed-related deaths that have occurred, inattentive driving deaths, and impaired drivers continuing to drive a car from a bar or a party. The message is the same. If the drivers had just wore their seatbelt, the outcome may have been different. Our message is simple and easy to understand. Our roadways need your attention while driving on it. Slow down as you head to your destinations. We say this every year. If you choose to drink, just be responsible. Don't drive afterwards. All of these people that have killed someone innocent because of their impairment, they thought they could drive with no problem. But sadly, they found that was wrong. And because they chose to drive, they changed the lives of innocent people as well as themselves. Our law enforcement partners are planning numerous saturation events throughout and around the Knoxville District. We're going to be conducting numerous saturation patrols throughout our area. We're going to be looking at conducting some sobriety checkpoints. And the law enforcement community has taken the attitude that we're going to have zero tolerance to drivers that break the law. We want you all to enjoy the Thanksgiving holidays, and as we prepare for Christmas and the New, Year, New Year's festivities, we don't want the word tragedy to be the memory you make during these festive times of being together. We want you to have a wonderful time of fellowship with your families and with your friends. At this time, I am honored to introduce the Director for the Tennessee Governor's Highway Safety Office, our Director, uh, Kendall Poole, for some comments and thoughts. Director. Thank you, Steve. First word that comes to mind when we all get together in a place like this is partnership. Uh, we're all judged, more oftentimes than not, on the numbers. And the numbers that we've seen across our digital message signaging boards across the state that the public has seen. And there's 151 of those across the state of Tennessee that actually show us the numbers of fatalities. So we're judged on those numbers. When those numbers rise, they look to us. When those numbers fall, 
back up to us. What we always want to be able to do is put ourselves in position as the Governor's Highway Safety Office and all of our partners, including the Tennessee Highway Patrol and all of the local law enforcement officials across the state of Tennessee, put ourselves in position to always be on the good end of that. If you look over the last eight years, we have been able together to reduce fatalities to the tune of about 33%. And that's pretty incredible. That's something to celebrate. But the fact that we are, that would lead us not to celebrate is the fact that that's almost a thousand too many. So we're always looking towards zero because we all, everybody up here, recognizes the fact that every one of those numbers that you see, every one of those numbers that we talk about on a daily basis, as Steve so eloquently said, represent a life. They represent a family. And that's why we're in business as public servants, every single one of us up here. We talk about the things that, that cause uh, these bad marks, these numbers in driver behavior. And we're always talking about booze, belts, and speed. And, you're, and now distracted driving has really risen to an epi epi epidemic level as well. And we start looking at how we can combat those types of things. And we can't do that without the partnership of each other. Most folks know us through Booze It and Lose It and Click It or Ticket and those things that we're known for across the media. But what they don't recognize beyond that educational effort is a complete and total enforcement effort. You have to have enforcement to back up that educational message. If you don't have that, then we're all going to be lost. And I can tell you that I'm so pleased that we have partnerships all across the state that surpass anything that we've ever been able to do before. And as a result, you're going to see the numbers continue to come down. Last four years, we've kind of, no pun intended, we've kind of flatlined a little bit. We've been just above 1,000, just below 1,000, just above 1,000, just below 1,000. We have primed the pump, so to speak, to take that next big dip down. We're looking at 900, 800, below in those numbers. And I know together we're going to be able to get there. We actually are in a position, the Governor's Highway Safety Office, to provide grant funding to all of these agencies that stand behind me right now. And they're able to utilize those funds for additional enforcement, whether it be DUI enforcement whether it be equipment, whether it be desktops, laptops, anything that's going to help them do their jobs better to save lives because they know their jurisdictions much better than we do. And as we come upon the holidays, which obviously draws a lot more attention with more people traveling, family going to see loved ones, I really want to point out seatbelt usage today. In the state of Tennessee, we know that 85% of Tennesseans wear their seatbelts. With a primary seatbelt law, you might say, well, that's pretty good. We can do better than that. There are 15% of drivers out there in the state of Tennessee who are not wearing their seatbelts. And the chances of you dying in a crash, whether it's your fault or not, exponentially increases if you're not wearing your seatbelts. And these guys will tell you that they hear those stories every single day. It happens every single day. Over half of our crashes, 55% in fact, are unbelted. So that means that over half of our fatalities come from 15% of our population. We can do better in the state of Tennessee. And this holiday season, Thanksgiving through the month of December, if we've got parties, and we're going to continue to talk about impaired driving as well, make sure you stay belted. It's your best chance to increase your survival rate if you simply wear your seatbelt. So I just want to conclude by saying thank you to all of our partners across the state of Tennessee. This year, our fatalities, first six months of the year were phenomenal. We were ready to plan a party at the end of the year for record low numbers. And then since the 4th of July weekend, the last four months, we've really seen a drastic increase across the state in our fatalities. Nobody's immune to it. But we're trying to control driver behavior, and that's a lot easier said than done sometimes. But what we've been able to do since the beginning of November 
And what we plan to do through the end of December is to make sure that we do the best that we could possibly do. And that includes getting below 1,000 fatalities again. Again, 1,000 too many, but we're striving to reach those numbers. And I believe at this point we can actually come in with our second best number of all time. In every year, in 2014, next year, we're going to strive to get better. We are going to close this year out strong. We're going to start 2014 off strong. And we need the public's help in paying heed to the messages as we continue to educate and these folks behind me continue to enforce. So thank you so much for the partnership. Thank you to the media as well. Thank you, Director. The GHSO has a great partnership with the Tennessee Highway Patrol. I'd you know, like to introduce Captain David McGill, who is the commander of the Tennessee Highway Patrol here in the Knoxville area, for his thoughts and comments. Captain, thank you, Steve. Director, thank you for being here today. Yeah. And I'd like to thank the media for being here to uh, support our efforts and to uh, pass on our information to the uh, motoring public here in our great state of Tennessee. Just like uh, Steve and uh, Director Poole said, we can't do this without our partners. Our city and county partners are our valuable asset as far as the Tennessee Highway Patrol. And I want to thank each one of them for being here today and supporting our effort to save lives here in the state of Tennessee. The upcoming Thanksgiving holiday period is one of the heaviest traveled periods during the year. THP personnel in the Knoxville District will utilize several different enforcement strategies during the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday in an effort to have a large number of troopers on the roadways during this period. These efforts will be aimed to, to and at promoting safe driving habits and saving lives. Traditionally, Wednesday from 12 noon to midnight before Thanksgiving and Sunday 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. after the busiest travel days uh, of the year for the uh, motoring public. Troopers will be assigned a 20-mile section of Interstate 40 here in the Knoxville District and the areas within the district that not have I-40 like I-75 uh, the troopers will be signed in that area to help uh, assist with the uh, traveling public also. Not only in the Knoxville district will the troopers be assigned to the interstate within 20 miles section. That will be a statewide effort on the uh, authority of uh, our commander, Colonel Tracy Trot, And that will uh, be a big impact for the motoring public traveling from one end of this state to the other to see troopers and we're inviting our uh, partners, city and county, to help us in this effort also. Driver's license checkpoints will be conducted in selected counties throughout the district. Sobriety checkpoints will be conducted during this period to deter empire drivers. We'll continue to do our seatbelt checkpoints at different locations and uh, time. There'll be some during the day, and then there'll be nighttime seatbelt checkpoints. Counties throughout the district will conduct traffic enforcement saturations during this period, focusing on speeding, impaired drivers, negligent and reckless driving, and mostly our seatbelt enforcement, as both of these gentlemen has talked about, our fatalities. You know, uh, we've seen an increase in uh, uh, fatalities as far as not seatbelt wiring and usage and if we can just encourage the public and that with our education and everything to wire their seatbelt the uh, chance of living through a crash is a lot better. Public service announcements will be uh, recorded with local media outlets and aired throughout the holiday period promoting safe driving practice and not drinking and driving. Our safety education program here in the Knoxville district will be at the uh, present at these uh, interstate welcome centers and uh, they will be uh, passing out information as far as safe driving and answering any uh, motorist questions on all aspects of traffic safety. So again, thank you for being here and uh, thank my city and county partners for their support to make this a safe holiday, uh, Thanksgiving holiday weekend to carry us on into Christmas and New Year's. Thank you. Thank you, Captain. Very much. 
Governor's Highway Safety Office has a good partnership with the Knox County Sheriff's Office. And today I'd like to introduce Lieutenant Todd Clark uh, with the Knox County Sheriff's Office for his comments and thoughts as well, Lieutenant. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, media, for being here today. Um, thanks to all the other brothers in arms we have here today. We uh, try to put forth a, a good, solidified effort this time of year. Um, Knox County Sheriff's Office will be conducting a weekend type uh, DUI enforcement saturation patrols as we've been doing recently and we're going to continue those throughout to the end of the year and uh, the unit that I'm on the traffic division we also will be applying more uh, attention to a couple of areas in the west part of the county north part of the county that have shown to us to be problem areas with traffic uh, with aggressive driving with uh, distracted driving as well as the DUIs um, that we all have to deal with um, we haven't had anything firmed up yet, but I'm sure there's a good chance between now and the end of the year that we'll also be working alongside uh, the Highway Patrol with some of their efforts when they do some uh, of their bigger uh, patrols and, and such we've done in the past, and they always give good results. So thank you all again for being here. Thank you, Lieutenant. And finally, our office has a wonderful relationship with the Knoxville Police Department, and uh, I can't say enough about partnership and the relationship that we have and especially when it comes down to looking at different events and uh, how we're wanting to try to make Knoxville as safe as we can. I want to introduce to you uh, the Knoxville Police Department's Chief David Roush and uh, I'd like for him to share some of his comments and thoughts. Chief. Thanks Steve, I appreciate that. Kendall, appreciate you Thank all. Thank you Chief. Uh, we have got a, a great partnership in this community with, uh, with, with not only uh, the, the state uh, through the, the Governor's Highway Safety Office and the, and the Tennessee Highway Patrol, but also with uh, with, with our county uh, partners, and uh, and then even uh, uh, as you see the other uh, departments here with, uh, throughout this area. And so it's a uh, it is a wonderful partnership. Uh, we have something unique, I think, uh, in this wonderful East Tennessee region, and that's uh, our open communication with each other and our, our work with each other uh, throughout this area. And so uh, as I listen to uh, Steve's comments, the the, the one word that stuck out to me uh, is plan. And uh, we do a great job of planning in law enforcement. We, we really look you know, at, at how things are, we, we analyze data, we crunch the numbers, we, we know what's happening. And we make great plans on how to address these problems. Uh, what we're asking is that the public start to do some planning as well. We're asking that you plan how you're going to get from point A to point B if you know that you're going to uh, partake in alcoholic beverages. We, we ask you to have a plan, and that plan is not to drive and have another alternative, have someone either a designated driver or have an alternative form of transportation. Uh, we, we tell you to plan when you sit down in that car and you put that seat belt on. Uh, somewhere back years ago I read that, that uh, if you do an action a thousand times it becomes habit. Well, I tell you to do that, put that seat belt on, continue to put that seat belt on, and before you know it, you're putting that seatbelt on without thinking about it. Uh, we've already heard the numbers. Over 55% of our crashes, uh, our fatalities, that, that, that did not have their seatbelts on. Uh, if we could save that many people, uh, Kendall, that, that would be huge to the numbers. As Kendall said, we would see drastic changes in our fatality numbers. Uh, in Knoxville, it's, it's sad news. Uh, we, have, we have surpassed our, our, our fatality numbers from uh, last year. And, uh, and that's a concern. That's a concern to us. Uh, we've already had, this year experienced 28 fatalities in our city and that's more than we we ever want to see uh, and those numbers need to come down and the only way that's going to happen uh, is for the public to get engaged for the public to plan on how they're going to uh, uh, drive uh, you know make sure you're not uh, you're not texting and talking on the phone and you know all that distraction is going to cause bad things to happen um, and then of course you know as, as our colleagues have said uh, we're going to be out here. Uh, our officers are going to be out there. The county's going to be there. Our state partners are going to be there. We're all going to be out there. And, you know, the, the last thing we want to do is to put you in jail for your holiday. But I can tell you, the first thing we want to do is put you in jail for the holiday to keep you from killing yourself or someone else. And so I ask you to avoid us by following the law. Follow the law. Uh, drive safely. And make plans to get where you're going from A to B and do it safely. Thank you, Chief. 
In conclusion, I want to thank you again for attending the press event. And if you look around this room and you see these officers, we're ready to do our part to keep our roadways safe, and especially safe for everybody that's going to be traveling. So last reminder to our drivers, be safe out here on the roads. Don't drink and drive. Wear your seatbelt, and please put that telephone down until you can get off the road and not have any distractions on you. Our speakers will remain here if you should have any questions that you want to ask of them. Uh, but at this time, the precedent is concluded. Thank you.